All right, mic check, one, two. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast episode. God damn, 50. 50! Congratulations, everybody. It's a yeah, like, I know, I had a 25 cake last time, we but mm-hmm. we do. Salute to the gang. See how Shade said, I had a 25 cake last time. It was y'all, it was somebody else turn this time, basically. Basically. Cheers. Salute to 50 episodes. Gemini Scorpio podcast, Jay Hill. I'm here. I was in the motherfucking building. Hey, yeah. Bay. What's up, buddy? Hila Bay is here. Miss Grinaway. Alexander the Bonk is here. Okay, Boo. smooth, y'all. <laughs> okay. I gotta be smooth. Just... What's popping, though, man? Um, How y'all feeling today? How was the energy? Um, How was y'all yesterday's? How was y'all weeks? Like, shit, like... I know. Why does it feel like it's been a long week? Because I feel like... It has been. Yeah. The week was good, though. Uh, Productive, busy. You know, we got a lot going on. You know, we got the live show coming. Yes, man. When is that? Uh, next week. Yes, Damn. live show December 20th. Yeah. They ain't ready. ready. They ain't ready. Damn. Damn. Well, they definitely not ready. I think we might be preserving our energy a little bit today. Because, you, yeah, you know. Until somebody Until says the right says, thing. Yeah, exactly. Somebody said one thing. That's exactly. Exactly. No, no, we, always, <laughs> we always do start out light. And then somewhere along the line, it's like, oh, this is going good. This is going good. Then boom. Having a productive. You know, it's right. a shit show. Let's see, let's see, let's see the energy when we finish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then we got the drinks. Yo, shout no. out to Lex. Uh, making the drinks. Yeah. Drink Lex. L E with double X's, not yeah. one period. And she gonna be our bartender for uh, Sunday as well. Um, shout out to the gang. Y'all already know. Um, shit. Uh, Gio to Leo. Wow. Damn. Uh, you only took a sip. Nah, it's nah, the nah, drink. Nah, nah, nah. You only took Joseph a sip. Joseph D. Friend. Period. Pink celebrity, aka Monique. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Just say Is it. That... Say it. Sherm. Sherm. Big Sherm. Wow, sir. That's why I was Sherm. thinking about it. That's why I took so it's long because okay. I was trying no, to like no, think of okay. Sherm name and I'm like, we're building. Yeah. That's why I was going but, to say not, like, But shit. normally Jay goes that way. Like, normally. I think that's why he did that. Yeah, he was he, already he was, snapping. He normally knew. he goes this right, way. That's why I did I, Like, I didn't he, forget y'all name. I just, he, he I, like, knew. <laughs> but I was trying to remember his name while I was saying y'all names. So I was like, ah, shit, fuck it. It's a method to the madness. It's a method to the madness. All right, so yeah, what, what was popping? Like, how was your week? Um, what did I do last week? I mean, what? yesterday was so called wild. <laughs> it was so wild. It was just one of them chill nights that ended up being too much. You know, you just be chilling and it's too much. Just drinking. Nah, well, it was nothing too much about it. <coughs> it ain't like we was doing some shit. No, not like the wild like that. I, I mean, mean we get old, you so if wild. I get a little too drunk and I'm up till 3.30, that's a wild night for me. <laughs> Listen. Okay, 3.30. I don't it. even have to drink. And honestly, the pro- my problem is, is and that I ain't shit for the week. Jazz and I went to New York on Friday and pulled a 24-hour day, and I had the nerve to still get up, up early the next day and still go to bed last night at 3.30 this morning. Last night, this morning. So that's really, that's really Welcome it. Welcome to my life. Yo. Yeah, I, I like my rest. I can't. I love my sleep. What about y'all, man? What's this week? Oh, man. My week was absolutely amazing. I couldn't wait. She had an amazing week. I couldn't week. wait. <laughs> That's why I, did. I wanted to go. I'm, I'm going to just let, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me tell my so story. Like, yeah. like, nah, I'm very sleepy today um, because I stopped by my mother's last night and I ended up staying way later than I expected. But um, as far as my week, it was super productive. It was super blessed. Um, I definitely did a movie um the show which was my it was my first time acting so i was really excited i loved it i'm putting actress in my bio was now it really your first time acting because i feel like you probably act a couple times i mean in I, video I like but like on the experience wise i got 29 years you right. know i'm drama yeah, but I'm not <laughs> saying, I'm not there's a lot I, of okay, acting that be going on this was my first time yeah, acting true. amongst professional actors yeah. mm. with professional directors and they said i killed it so i'm very happy about yes, that and yeah. then also i got some new deals in the work yeah. um but you, of course i'm not gonna speak on it yet yeah. but to week, yeah to say to say the least i'm so blessed and someone god's watching over me i love it all right so boom to him. give us two lines like real quick Nah, yeah. chill, Boom. chill. Not from that I ain't movie. trying to. Just I ain't trying to get. Improv. I ain't can't trying to get. Um, no, no, no. Improv. Nah, <laughs> chill. No, it improv. was. It, hey, I did my thing. <laughs> I, sh- I pulled. I pulled the, the the footage up. I got the footage last night. By the way. Better okay. um, your best viral of Davis. Nah, That's I don't want to get sued. No, not from the movie. I said improv. Boom. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, you're. Uh, you, just lo- you just lost your baby. Boom. Are Dang. you on? What? Type what? what type of? I mean, yeah, go ahead. Ahead. I, I, I like that though. This is good. All right, that's it. Alex, how was your week? 
This is acting right here. This is this is great. I'm, I'm acting right now. <laughs> my week was refreshing. Feel hold like on, but hold was, up, because hold up, because I do got some skills. Because they wanted me. Sh- me hold up, hold up, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Hold up, hold up. Let me just let y'all know something. Let me just let y'all know something, because. I was playing a real, real classy bitch, okay? And I was real, real nerdy. And I was acting great because I had to switch my accent because y'all know how I slip into the, you know, I'm from I'm from Maryland. But I did great, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. I sounded like I was like just, I was born into money. Hello. All right, Alex, go. My week was good. We can get into this shit. I feel like this week, though, was selfish. I was selfish this week. That's, That's good. good. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I was selfish this week. Selfish? Like, that was a very selfish, huh? How? I just focus on my like I got to things. Oh, so basically, but it was like more so like I prioritized myself. Got into an argument. And nah, hell was no. Like, nah, I had nothing to do with that. That was okay. literally just me. Like, and okay. if people. Did you know, you one of them days. I was talking. Yeah. And I got to cut. I was talking to my homie. I when was like, I wanna be all alone. It's crazy. You, you know a nigga. You know when a nigga ha- have an argument with when his they, girlfriend. When they fucking like, on myself. What you doing, bro? Like, you trying to link? Like, nigga, you don't never hit me the link. Now you hit me. Yo, what you doing? Where you at? Like, we at all right now. But my week was cool too. I got a couple. Damn, I got a couple things. Yeah, like. And I can't even like speak on it right now. But damn, that's crazy. Shout out to the gang. Yeah, shout out to everybody, man. Hey, we oh, winning. 2021. I mean, we up. I forgot. Up. So, we already in. Oh yeah, yeah. 2021. You wrote it. Facts. I love to see it. I love it. I, I wrote an article in the first time for the first time in like six months. So that was yeah, good too. Alex got it. Like when you when you send me stuff, that's treated like a FaceTime, right? So you got to <laughs> text me and ask me am I prepared for? It? Am I ready? Can can I? You know what I'm saying? Because Alex would send me a whole article and it's long as shit. And I just not, I'm not in the reading mode. Then he be like, "Yo, how was it?" I'm like, "Bro, like, oh, I gotta read it right now." <laughs> like, they yeah, gonna respond, read that right they're now. gonna say, "Damn, you wrote this." That's all he was saying. <laughs> oh, Jay is. I said, "Wait, shit, what?" <laughs> Nigga sent me a whole fucking like. Remember on Brown Sugar when Sanaa Lathan was dating uh, Boris Kojo? He's like in the NBA, and she wanted. She was like a magazine writer, and she sent him the articles. And she asked him, like, how do you think he was? And he was like, oh, babe, it was amazing. I you loved it. it. And she was like, what was your favorite part? And he was like, um, he was like, it. yeah, the whole thing. I mean, when you <laughs> talked about the stuff, it was just, I loved it. And she's like, you didn't read it, did you? And he was like. When you talk about the stuff. Ah, it's a busy week. It was a busy week for me, babe. I had practice. It's... That's how I felt when Alex sent it to me. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Nah, like, he ain't even respond. I, I was like, this nigga ain't really good. Right, you get bad, back bro. to me. Like, <laughs> that's that's like he's the definition of the nigga. You write him the whole paragraph. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now that's me yeah, too. Put a thumbs you. up on the bitch. Or I'll just Say pick less. out the the part that triggers me. Like you said, what? Like that's that's me. <laughs> right, like whatever right. I didn't selective like. Selective reading. Mm, yeah. That's men. But like Jay will hold himself accountable. But it'll say you, the whole thing. He be like, we right, was I going apologize. real good. But I'm we like, not gonna speed exactly. you see, You're yeah, like, see that was my apology. Right. Did you even look, read it? <laughs> now we're in another argument. Right, exactly. Now I'm going to do it again. All right, man, let's get into this, man. Let's, <laughs> let's get into the show. Hey, uh-huh. why are we talk? What, what made us talk about prenups, though? So, apparently, uh, what, Tisha Campbell, is that her mm. name? Uh, Gina from Martin. Yes, okay. yes. She, you know, her and Dwayne Martin were married for years, and... Um, Apparently, when she left the marriage, she only had seven dollars to her name. Ooh. Did it just come out in an interview or something? Yes. She was, oh, she so was, was speaking with like, Kevin what, Frazier. Isn't that yeah. old? No, no. Like the, relationship? the divorce. Is the divorce is a little bit but not I guess too old, but I think yeah. so. Okay. Yeah. Or clips okay. are resurfacing about wow. right. That. That's why y'all feel about it. It's well, restarting. You know, I don't know. So even on the prenup side, I don't know. So I feel like when you really get with somebody and marriage is where y'all are, it's like I clearly fully trust you. You feel what I'm saying? So money or not, like, you know, I want to be trusted with, you know, what girls say I need the keys to the safe, the security codes. I need everything. I want to be trusted in that Damn, way. Girl say that? Shit. Yeah, like we want the yeah. access to everything. Why wouldn't I have access yeah. to everything? You know what I'm saying? I'm your wife, yeah. right? So when I think of prenups, it kind of, I don't know how I feel about them because I feel like if you have a prenup, then something about it, you don't trust me. You so I mean? what if it's not necessarily an issue of trust? Mm-hmm. What if you just make bad investments? And you, you know what? It's so, it's so funny because I was thinking about it and Shut I was in. like, fuck out of here. So I was thinking about it and I was saying things like, you know, but I'm all for some type of contractual agreement. Well, I mean, not marriage whatever, is a contractual but, so, agreement. But I, so I guess when I hear prenup, I hear... You don't get nothing. Like this is mine. You're Y'all signing. Yeah, that's not how it works. Okay, so Y'all know what time it is. What, yeah, that's not how you it pull works. It up? Dictionary J. <laughs> no, so, so I can so tell the, you. Yeah, no, tell me. Yes, yeah, I don't. So, I don't know how it fully works. Okay, so a prenuptial um, has terms, just oh, like any other contract right. you enter. You can negotiate terms. Right. So it doesn't necessarily mean 
you know, my money is yeah. my money, your money is your money. It could be something that's agreed upon, like, okay, so uh you get the house. you get XYZ mm -hmm. if okay. we do decide to split. Uh, okay. Or so, if I break any of the um oblig like any of the terms, terms then yeah, it's it's no void. In that case, I do agree with it. So I was gonna, I was just about to In say that. In that case, I do. So I want. See, I just had to clarify. Not to I go, thought it was the other way. Not yeah. to go on a tangent. We can make this quick. So you say you want the keys to the safe and everything. Like, do you yeah. believe in privacy at all in a razor? Yeah, I'm not saying I want to invade your privacy, but things that we like. I mean, we got keys to our house. If something happens, I need to be able to go in the cold, the safe. No, that to, makes sense. I'm you with know, that. bail you out. I don't know. No, I'm with I need that. to have access to these things so that you know I'm the backbone. If something's going wrong on your end, that I can access it and I can deal with it. You, you know have, what I'm saying? That's sense. what I mean. I'm with that. Like, power not of attorney. Like invasion. Like, right, power like power of attorney. Power of attorney. There we so go. Was, not invading your privacy. I was actually thinking, and I was like, yo, um. I was not even before the prenup. Before we even had this comment, this this um topic, I was thinking like, yo, I think I want a prenup to give uh make sure Shadi has a percentage. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like um even watching the uh, Dr. Dre thing, I do believe that um your spouse deserve something a, a percentage. Something. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is a lot of times, like a lot of times, your spouse giving you the ideas. A spouse, your spouse is or holding ready, down yeah, your like, other yeah, responsibilities, yeah, like, so you can, you. so you can take care of business. Yeah, like in, in, in little things like just being your, your your counselor when you need it, your therapist when you need it. Sometimes, sometimes you know even your or sometimes yeah. even just like running around doing it for you. Yeah, sometimes even you know I'm putting what I need to do on the back burner so that you can get your stuff off. You know, but for, but for me it was like I was just thinking like you know sometimes like for me it was like you know Shade is definitely like my consultant a lot. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm thinking, or if I'm not thinking right, I'll go to Sade. What you think? And honestly, you got to pay for that. Yeah. I mean, if you yeah. want, if you want to yeah. be technical, like you yeah. got to pay for consulting. Mm -hmm. People hit hit you. Yo, Asking how much you, you charge? How you do this? Like yeah, fifty dollars you know consulting. So it's like to have a know? have a uh, have a spouse, and I think it goes both ways. But I can yeah. only speak from a man point of view. I feel like, especially a woman needs a percentage because. Women hold so much of a, a key to our success. But hold on, like, let's be let's remember though that in this instance. She's the breadwinner. He has money too, but she's the breadwinner. So, so right. can you explain to me how she got left with seven dollars? And what was it? Did they say like what was their contractual so agreement? So honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. They don't. They didn't have a prenup. I, I believe. Okay. Um, I didn't see it, but I just heard through word of mouth. But apparently, he was just making bad investments with mm -hmm. the money. So he lost the money. So he lost by the, time the money. It was gone. By the time they split, Done, it was gone. Yeah, it was gone. Oh, but wow. far as like, I was like, yeah. And um, I was saying, I think the woman need the uh, percentage just because, like, yo, it's, it's been times where, as men, we can't really is is a is a stick is a stigma behind getting too emotional as a man for real. And the only person that you can talk to is your is your girl a lot of times. Not saying that that's right, but a lot of times, a lot of things I don't say in the public, but I can come home and speak to my girl. Right. And honestly, that 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 leads it's to right. a lot of arguments mm -hmm. and a lot of just t t turmoil. In a relationship, look at me and shit. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, look, niggas is looking studying. like that's not even a. <laughs> that's not even a. That's not even a big I word, see, Jay. I see you studying. Yeah. Can you spell but, it? No. Okay. <laughs> like, whatever. Like I don't care. Like, <laughs> I'm not scared of y'all niggas. Like or none of y'all niggas either. Hey, like, hey, hey, I ain't asking you scared. Ask could you spell it? I said no. I know. I got so, you, babe. T u r m o i l. Okay. Good shit. Yeah. Congrats. I'm helping you. Out. I know. Why are you saying no, I'm not. I'm I'm she's on your but, side. No, no, no. I'm like, I got you, babe. Look, we talking about. Jasmine started that, but anyway. Hey, I started it. I did. I feel like a lot of times. I feel like a lot of times you do take things out on your partner. When you're upset, and I feel like they they need something for that, honestly. So I think prenups are good. Um, yeah. Like some form and, of and I just, and yeah. I don't think like you know like it's things like even if we you know divorce later. If I loved you before, I clearly you know what I'm saying I love you. Like I'm not trying. I don't want nobody to be on the ground so, because we leave. Like I, like I'm not saying like you know if you don't have as much as me. I'm not saying that. However, I don't want to leave nobody on the ground that I love. Like you know so, what I'm saying. So, like so what if what if what if he made your life a living hell on but purpose. I, so okay, go ahead. on purpose, on purpose, that's abusive evil, people. That's intentional that's evil shit. Now you know because marriage is better for worse and it's supposed to be unconditional. What you do to me has nothing to do with me. I only can still extend myself on what my part of the situation is. I may not fuck with you no more. You know what I'm saying? But just my heart, I can't leave nobody on the ground. Like I'm like I'm not trying. I'm not trying to run you dry because you ran me dry. Now. Just get the fuck away from me, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love you. I don't like. We don't have to be together. Get the fuck away from me. Take what you need. I ain't trying. I, I'm not trying to make your life miserable. You feel what I'm saying? You could go do what you need to do. Just stay the fuck away from me. You got your house. You can keep that house. I'll be out. 
get the fuck away from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really. I mean, I feel like it know? don't really go like that in no, relationships. But, once at you, the yeah. end, but at the end, though, because emotions are so high. Yeah, but in the saying. beginning, we didn't come in like yeah, that. Yeah. So that's why I said, I am I, I am cool with prenups. So, because and, I want to decide that in our normal state. Yeah, I don't want to exact, decide that. That's a great then. point. I was you about to go saying? to I was That's what I'm saying. That's why I would do that then. rational decisions out of emotions. Exactly. So let's get into the fun part. How much do you think you deserve? I deserve 50%. Girl, you fucking smoking dick. I deserve 50%. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Why? Because you don't do anything without me. Yeah, you're right, but that's not 50% worth. Why not? All right, so tell me why. I want half. All right, so tell me. Tell me please I want half. Case. Tell me why. I want half because, uh, like I said, we don't do anything without each other. We're, we're both on the, even with your investment, I'm on the other half of the investment making all the back end decisions. You feel what I'm saying? Um, even in just regular life, like we run in this motherfucking household together. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why would I get anything less than 50%? Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, you could, Oh yeah, thank you, Lex. I was gonna say, let's wait till we get our drinks. Feel that, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta pour one, come on. But no, I, I like think, this. I think, um, Jeez, I think I we like should. Uh, thank you. I think. I would say, I guess I am a smooth. Time. I'm gonna say a smooth thirty percent. I'm gonna tell you why. Forty, and that's my final offer. I'm gonna tell you why I think thirty percent. Cause yeah, you gotta you we can we consulting right, and that's a fee. And but a lot of times I'm putting in as far as my right. business, I'm putting in the legwork, I'm agree. putting in the work. I agree. So, I and reason why I, I right. mean, not to, I, agree. I was gonna I agree. ask you, like so you, on his stuff though, on his stuff, because like I was thinking about his like, stuff, thirty percent on, on the, our stuff together, fifty percent. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah on your but stuff, but I thought 30%. the prenup is like, but like. No, there's different terms. Yeah, like, because like with Jeff Bezos and his like, wife, I don't or his ex-wife, like, like she got forty money, million, but right. he still had a hundred million. Exactly. So she got a heavy okay percentage, I'm forty a, billion. I'm sorry. Let me. What was her I was like, billion, like I'm, not I'm not sure. I'm but like, I'm like, what was her he was at like hundred and thirty-two billion well. at that time. This is an mm. estimate. Don't quote me. But like, she got forty billion, billion. of it, Ooh, which was still Jesus. made her the richest woman in the world. That's crazy. So would you settle for that? I sure would. All right then. That's still like 30%. I gotta find, I'm, I'm going to so, find out her percentage. I don't think that I um, necessarily would put any stipulations on anything that someone did before me. And if I it's agree. something that's residual from before me, then I don't think I do deserve any of that unless I'm contributing to it mm -hmm. in some way where mm -hmm. it grows because of me or you're able to continue to do it because of me. But I think that... Um, yeah, whatever you had before me, I would rather start from zero. Like we start from where we got together, and then from there we can decide percentages. I don't. But what if you? I don't. If, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. No. What if you like? You never knew this lifestyle. You got used to the lifestyle. He exposed the person exposed you to this lifestyle. You got used to it. Your expenses start to accumulate to that lifestyle, and then now you have to start from zero. You don't have anything to. So afford, like, so here's the thing, in the agreement, like first of all. If I didn't do anything to grow my wealth during that time, then that's my stupidity. That's right. You know what I mean? I have to be accountable for yeah. that because had he, the person been there, not been there, I'm still responsible for my livelihood. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't think that um, because I'm used to a certain lifestyle that I should be able to keep it just because I was married to you. Now, if I done have done things along the way to afford that lifestyle, then of course I deserve what I put into it. A, but for children, like if, if there's kids involved, yes, I do believe that the kid should be able to maintain their lifestyle because that's not fair to a child. But as an adult, I'm, I'm fully responsible for my income. I so I, I think just before, um, just before you go, and I just want to say like, you know, just even, I only can speak to women that, you know, are together coming into it. Now I'm not talking about somebody who didn't have much. And then, came in like you gotta be doing your own thing too like you can't be out here just now like, if he oh, prohibits like you, me and it's now, in the prenup and he says i want you to i want live you, at you home to, i want you to take home. care of the home yeah. take care of this take care of that then we have a fee for that because when you think about um you know housekeepers babysitters um they're expensive assistants cleaning yeah, ladies all of them they're expensive right like that costs money so if i'm doing labor then we need to decide what would be my payout for that labor. Mm -hmm. um, but 
if I'm just sitting around and everybody else is taking care of that, yeah, then I, I mean, but I wouldn't that. agree to do that. Yeah, I, think, I don't even know. I so, but I think it's to important to like, lay that out in the beginning yeah. and know what you actually are yeah. agreeing but, and to. And I, I, I like I like this is like bring things home in our relationship, right? I believe that you still I would still want to give a percentage because it, for example, like I, I was hosting before I met Shade. Mm -hmm. However, along those lines, when she came, she's helped me make decisions on things that she might not even know of. Like for example, um, let's say uh, I was hosting at the club on a weekly, right? And like she didn't ask me to stop, but a lot, a big, a part of me stopping was because of her, you know what I'm saying? And it, I think it was a good thing. And I think that was one of the best decisions I made, you know what I'm saying? Even though I, I might've lost some money, but I think that was a great, some great decisions that I made because she came in and she was able to like nurture and take my hand and just show me things about myself that I didn't want to revisit, if that makes sense, right? But I that, that's, that's because it turned out positive. It could have gone negative, but and that's, that's when emotions get involved. That's why I, I think it is important to have a prenup, mm -hmm. because if it went left, right, um, then now, so the thing about marriage, is supposed to be forever, right? But if it's not forever, you got to remember, like, everybody always has their own separate account of how it went right. you know everybody yeah, has their own story of course. so had it gone negative you may have been like well you stopped me from hosting and that's what ruined my career but because it went positive you're like you know i didn't realize i needed that but had it gone negative now when when both of you leave she has her perspective on it and you have yours so, and that's why i said like i, I agree with shawty when she's saying like going into it with the um a, a, a right state of mind because what happens is that's business though. Like mm -hmm. if, if if we if, if we go to somebody and we say, Hey, I wanna do business with you, they understand that is a is a chance that they might not make no money, it's is a chance it's that they might lose. Risk. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. risk, it's mm -hmm. risk reward. Mm -hmm. So I, I just say I would say even thirty percent just because even if you come in and if I was doing something before you, you still had an influence on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was some things could have went good, some things could have mm -hmm. went bad. And I feel like um just in, in our experience, a lot of things yeah, it's just other thing that I might not agree with, but it's things that I can't lie and say, yo, all right, I might have got done dirty in the club. I came I came home and talked to you. You know what I'm saying? Where if I was by myself, I wouldn't be able to talk to nobody. Now I'm fighting in the club. Now I'm, I'm losing a bigger bag. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I think it should be a percentage of everything just because y'all don't understand how much. So that with these percentages, right? Are you guys agreeing on this number for both of your stuff? Like it's the same goes for, for you, or for, you want nothing? Nah, for no. me, I'm just saying for me. So, right. but I would do the same. Like you, so that's why I said, like you know, to do like you know of his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because we both help each other in both of our endeavors. Like I think a percentage is fair, but I wouldn't say fifty percent. Now our own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're doing just things by ourselves, you know what I'm saying? That he's not helping, but typically you're in a relationship, so you're gonna be helping but each that's other. But that's what like, I'm saying. That's but that's what I'm saying. So say, so say that. Yeah. So say the the situation turns out like Dwayne Martin and mm -hmm. Teach Campbell, right? So obviously they were both working for professionals in their career. So what if it's a situation where you agreed to thirty percent from mm -hmm. him, right? And he agreed to thirty percent from you. What if his thirty percent is way more m money than what yours would that's be? Risk but you yeah, hold up, let me finish. No, because you still have to give him your thirty percent because right. that's what's in the agreement. Right. So what if your thirty percent? What if his thirty percent cancels yours out, and now you like it's a Tisha Campbell situation where for. you only got seven dollars because he made thirty million with his thirty percent, and mm -hmm. you made ten million million with yours, and you owe him. You know, you're still you're you're not making anything. So I, well, I want to so say, I think even in the beginning, you know, in the prenup use prenup stage, that is, you know, the agreement down the line. You can't call it because, like you said, it could go the other way too. It could be way worth the risk. It's just the risk reward, but not, just following the contract. That's just so. What not, I that's up not for. what I'm saying. So I'm not I'm not saying that at all. I think um, I can only speak for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, I would hope she was saying. Mm -hmm. I I say whoever ha like that's has a great point. Most. Whoever has the most, right? Mm -hmm has to give 30 percent of something because one i don't want to say it's not fair because yes yeah, it's business but at the same time it's like yo we helped each other get mm -hmm. there you know what i'm saying if, mm -hmm. I, if I got 30 million mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i can't ignore the part that she played in it you know what i'm saying even if i did it on but, my own because nothing is technically on my own because but, we in a fucking same household right. like we we talk about things together you know what i'm saying so and if I, I still think it's just hypothetical because like at the end of the day i'm always going in everything that i am going to come out on top like so i wouldn't know that i'm going to lose or not make that much money or he's going to make i wouldn't even know but that's because the business my intention part, that's the business part because my intention is to come up and 
you know, get to where the fuck I'm going and get the biggest of the but bag. But in the case you, know you don't, all, in the case, in you, case don't, you don't, you shouldn't, yeah. you shouldn't be shorted. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's fair I, too. I don't think yeah. so because, and even if it's not kids involved, I just but, feel And that's like, why I think the other assets come in. Like, for example, like, even if that is the case, like, you know, like, if there's kids involved, obviously, you know, as a, you know, if I was a man, like, the woman would get the house. Like, you guys got the kids, whatever. I'll go. Now, I w- I'll keep it fair. Like, I'm not telling you got to move out immediately. You get to time your time. Like, you know, even in law, you get 30 days. But, like, you could have your time to get out. But just, like, there's certain things, like, not leaving she somebody was, on the ground. And like, if I wouldn't leave nobody on the ground. And if she was sleeping with... I was about to go your into best that. friend I was in literally that about house. to say that. That was my next question. So, I, I mean, think that goes in like, should there right. be some type that, of that go? But that goes that goes into in prenups, contract. though. Yeah, yeah, that goes in contract. You know it doesn't like, always, but it, it can. Like, honestly, I think um, Joe probably can like correct me, but I think you can get kicked out of the fucking military for cheating mm-hmm. on your wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like dishonorable. As a dishonorable you know what I'm so charge. adultery yeah. used to be a very uh, big deal in courts when it came to divorce, but it's not like that anymore. Only in like two states. I'm not gonna lie. So what I will say, and this might sound crazy. I think that it should be in a contract. And hypothetically, let's say if you don't leave because of adultery, let's say you stay, right? I think it should be bonuses. And But that's fucked up because that's probably make you want to stay more. But I just feel like, let's say if you stay, right, you should probably get a bonus on the contract because it's like, all right, I didn't leave this time. And this might sound crazy. I'm trying to tie it back because it, it, it doesn't make sense the more I say it. But I just feel like sometimes girls don't leave because of adultery, right? And then let's say it, 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 um, y'all, y'all end up breaking up for something else. Now, technically, you ain't leave because of the adultery you left because we outgrew each other, right? Like, technically, but so I you, did cheat before. You should go and up you took to 35% me back. for that or something like not that? Not 30. I wouldn't say a percentage. I think it should be like a number. Well, maybe a percentage because you might not have a number at the time. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that because a lot of times you might not leave because like, vice versa, it can be man and woman. The woman could cheat and the man take her back, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of our relationship, we didn't break up. Te- we didn't break up at that moment because you cheated. Because we, we, we just outgrew each other, right. right? I feel like even still, you should you just deserve something. Like, I don't want you okay. to not have anything. Yeah. So I think that if possible, I would have to say that in the contract, we would have to renegotiate terms every two years. Mm. Only because right. what if it's not cheating, right? What if, God forbid, my mother gets sick, right? And I need you to help me take care of her and, and you just leave me dry. Like, that's gonna that's definitely going to influence what I want to leave you with because I feel like that's something that can't come back. You know, it's, like deaths and stuff like that I are permanent. And when you're it, when you're married, those type of things, families get involved. Right. So I think I would have to say we must renegotiate I'll, every two years. And I agree because just like, you know, just like, like life insurance. Years? Like I change. Every two years. Like even I my life. is a little like. like I, no, sort of. every two years. I mean, like, you can't always say five. Yeah, you, know, five why, you know why I say two? Because even when I sign deals like for endorsements, the contract has to be renewed every two years. Like, and I think like, even like in, in life insurance, like I update my beneficiary all the time. And I think like, I think you should just be able to like, I think a nice, like having that update every so often is necessary because like, for example, I switch my life insurance according to who's so this closest some, to me. This like, you know what I'm saying? At the time, cause that's who I need to put things in place. If something happens to me for my daughter, for whatever. So if I like say, like, just keep it a bug. If me and Jay break up, I switch my I, I would switch my beneficiary like if 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 I'm like for example my cl- my one of my so best friends I'm gonna do before we break up you gonna kill me no 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 say right. it on camera I would never say that y'all heard him <laughs> heard so him? I remember being out <laughs> to eat with my parents right that's not, yeah, even, that's not even funny mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say that wait this is prior to my parents what like officially oh. separating right and we were sitting down eating and my mother started discussing <laughs> my mother started discussing her life insurance policy and she said that um, she was leaving. 30% to my daughter. And then I'm bad at math, so you got to help me. She was leaving. It's I cool because I'm bad I at think, spelling, but I can do math. So what's up? Okay. So whatever. <laughs> what, good. I mean, I can count money. That's it. But whatever, whatever the terms were, she was basically leaving my daughter, which is her only grandchild right now. She was leaving her the most. Then she was leaving my brother and I a uh, percentage to split. And my father was getting the least. And my father had a problem with that because he was like, well, in the Bible, basically it says like, you know, first you put your wife, then you put your kids, which I think yep. is ridiculous, but that's what it says. Yep, it is. So that's he was fact. basically is. saying, how can you Choose leave the kids first? Y- yeah, without leaving me. So, I that's think a he was basically that's saying, yeah. right there. I was going to say, he was I saying, well, well, he was saying, he was saying, if we're married and these are our kids, right? If you're not here anymore, why would you 
give them the money straight up instead of giving me the responsibility to disperse it to them, knowing that these are our children. So it's crazy. I was about to go into that, right? I'm so, next basically to you in making decisions so, like that for- I watch Power last week? So yeah. yeah. Bear with me, okay. y'all. So I'm about to say two points. So one point I was going to say is, y'all, I know y'all not going to agree with. Um, I think, honestly, like y'all said something about kids, right? Yeah, it does change with kids. But I feel like, honestly, I think whoever has the, the most money should take the kids because- I say that because yeah, that the child lifestyle shouldn't change, but I shouldn't have to be in, I shouldn't have to be responsible for making your continuing to better your lifestyle for the sake of our. I'm kids. gonna it's say I'm gonna say, that, say I disagree I was... because if when you say okay, so kids, it's not all about money. You mm -hmm. also need time nurturing. with them. You need to be the nurture, yeah. able to nurture, nurture them. It. If you, you make the bulk of the money, but, but you're you always nurture, on the road, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. So, it's not good for you. Now they're neglected. Like, and that's also a crime. You can't neglect them. Facts, but I guess I just feel like until I prove otherwise, I should have the kids only because we see so many times where women take the ch children and they, like even with- uh, um, London on the track nah, and nah, Summer Walker too. Yeah, but what is it called when you got a child support, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times you see uh, men upset because they feel like the women want them to pay for a lifestyle that they can't afford for themselves. So I feel like, I feel the same way. Like yeah, if we broke up and I, and I did my part for the business, I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to pay for your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So if I got the most money, yeah, I think you're right. The kid lifestyle shouldn't change. But yeah. if the kid lifestyle should, wouldn't change, they got to be with me so that lifestyle wouldn't change. I'm not about to take care of your lifestyle so you can, so I can, in hopes that but you- And it's funny that you said that no, because go ahead. Um, I remember I was watching Kevin Hart's special and he kind of was talking about like when his kids go spend time with his wife and like how they would call him and be like, you know, He's Kevin Hart, so he's a well-known. He might be the number one comedian, black comedian right now. So when you go to amusement parks, you get to the front of the line. You don't have to wait in line. You don't have to do certain things like that. So he was talking about how his kids call him complaining, essentially. Well, you know, there's two different truths, but like so, complaining yeah. about like having to succumb to a different type of lifestyle because they're so used to. <clears throat> so, I mean, I understand where you're saying that, but then at the bitter core, does it more so matter for the kids or is it is it? Are you thinking about the child in this situation? I'm, I'm, about putting, the child. I'm putting the child first. If right. I know that I'm on the road majority of the time, I'm not going to feel good about myself if I say, well, because my kid can live lavish, lavishly here and there's somebody to watch her, I'm going to keep her with me because then I can maintain her lifestyle. At that point, I need to, I need to look at my expenses again and I need to move some things around because I want my kids to be nurtured by their parent. And if I know that I'm on the road, I can't do that. And I don't want a stranger doing that just so that I can say, well, they have the same lifestyle. At that point, I mean, that's not a stranger. Y'all was together, though. No, no a stranger, about, like, meaning like a nanny. You, like, okay, okay. Like, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Somebody if I'm on the road, like, right. I want my kid to be nurtured by who loves them the most. And so I would have to make some adjustments to where I can make sure they both, they have the same lifestyle there and where I'm so at. So let me ask you this, though. And in, in what y'all are saying, right? If you take the kid, Am I paying you the money or am I giving it directly to the kids? So you have it to depends. give it to the yeah, parent if the kid is under 18. 18. See, I don't, yeah. I really, I just don't agree with that because we've seen, I've seen. Now I might, I don't know if this is even possible because I mean, I doubt it is because you see all the times people saying, well, you get this much, your kid only needs X, Y, Z. So what are you doing with the money? I would have in a contract, like the expenses laid out for the child. Mm -hmm. That way I know that the money is going to the child and not to you. And and that, I, well, I also think too, like, you know, some people get all this stuff and be like, I hate that bitch, but she's a good mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't that's think everybody's going into yeah, it like, 100%. oh, like she's about to go abuse the money. Some 100%. people are, they could be nah, shitty ass right. bitches to their nigga, but like they're great moms. I'm like, so you know, how do y'all feel about the, things like that? So how do y'all feel about um, the situation with Ludacris when he, he had, an affair on his wife she wasn't his wife yet but they were engaged he had an affair he ended up having a baby and um the the baby's mother tried to take him to court for child support because she said that her daughter deserved the same lifestyle with her instead he went to court he won he got sole custody of the daughter and let his fiance raise her um and the mother doesn't get to be hands-on with her child do, like is there's no way you can agree with that right i just feel like yeah, so I again i mean all i'm saying I is like i honest i might not agree with that however just back to my point i just don't think that because we've seen like um situations where it's like okay my child want to take up these sports or my child want to go to this school when we was together they wasn't doing that so now i'm not about to i just i just don't think it's fair for me to pay the parent because it ain't no telling what they're doing but what, but what if, if they what do, if it's the best okay so no, all right so i'm not as talking long about, as it's I'm not the, talking the best, best 
as long as, well, not even that, even if they weren't going there, right? As long as it is what is best for my kid, I'm going to dish it out. But I just feel like because we're individuals, we can we, can, we might disagree on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might think yeah, our child needs uh, to be in five different sports when I don't agree with that. I shouldn't it's have to like, pay you because that's what you think. Like, nah, we're together. So I feel like if I'm making most of the money and I get why y'all don't agree with it, because I definitely understand that it does sound unorthodox a little bit. Well, not even a little bit. I understand where it can see, sound unorthodox, but it's like, I don't want to be having to kick out my money to you for the things that you might be doing that I might not agree with. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's, I just don't think that. I, guess I don't know. Also one, yeah, because I tough. guess it's one but of those again, things too because like, you know, I think that happens even in marriages. Like sometimes the the, the mom will want them to go to this type of school, school and they're like, they could go to public school. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like ultimately it really comes down to what is the best for the kid. And I think parents always... If we could afford the best school, why not put them in the so best I'll school? So I'll give you an, ex I'll give you an example that wasn't even financial. So my daughter um, originally, before COVID, was going to go to private school for middle school, right? Uh, her father is a Muslim, right? The school that was offering the scholarship was a Catholic, Catholic school, Muslim. right? So when we went to the orientation, he didn't know it was a Catholic school. So he literally like got really upset there and was like absolutely not mm. and i'm like but her education will be better at this school for take the religion out of it she'll be meeting the right she'll be networking meeting the right people she'll be um you know getting a better education and he did not agree with it but in that instance i had to override him even though we had a 50 50 50 decision i had to override him because i'm like i'm not a muslim you know, and I respect your religion, but our child, she has to grow up and decide that right now she's torn between uh, whatever I am and whatever he is. So at that point, when the child is underage and you're both adults, you're not always going to agree. But what's mm -hmm. best for the child? But I think like I, I just feel like I think it's so subjective in that conversation because I just feel like. You, you're not going to override anything that I'm paying for. So if, if this is the decision that you think, then pay for it. But see, I, in this instance, take the money out of it because so there was a scholarship about, involved. Yeah, so, so neither one of us are paying for it. Now it's just based on so beliefs. That's just, I mean, so if we're and separate, that's where it gets tricky. If, if we're separate and you have custody, then you do what you got to do. I'm just, I'm only speaking on the, the money aspect of it. It's like, yo, don't tell me what's, because I might've went to a public school and I might've been really successful from a public school. And I'm like, yo, now nah, I think this. So it's like, I feel like whoever has custody of the child, if you think that's what's best for the child, then you have to pay for it. And, and I think that goes back to the ludicrous conversation because I'm trying to figure out what made them give him custody because it's because very he, hard to take because, away custody from because, the mother. If money is no, the only it wasn't, factor. It, it was the money was the only factor. That, that's, see, I don't, see, I don't think that parents should ever have to release custody due to financial because sometimes I might not be as rich as you, but I could take care of my kid, dude. Like, and I just don't think that's fair. So no, so I have a question. That. If you yeah. can take care of your kid, yeah, I can. You I, don't like, want like if you could. And now, I, everybody's I idea, everybody's also, idea of taking care of their kid is different. But we only having a conversation of because I, I heard, I heard what you was going. I'm only speaking to the fact when it goes left. I'm not talking about, because of course, we have people that break up and they be like, yo, that's a good mom. And right, I know that she's right. gonna do right by the right. child. We only speaking, I'm only speaking from but the fact that- You know what I don't like just speaking on this? I just don't like that because of however it ended, it is, a lot of times it is taken out on a child. Like, it's like, you know what? We ended this way. Like, if you want her to go to that school, you pay for it. It's like, but bro, if we were still together and I said it, you let me do it, wouldn't you? And I think that's not fair but because it, now it's not about the kid. It's about your emotions and that's not right. But it's, I just feel like it's honestly, impossible to do anything without emotion. Involved. That's, I, but I ain't gonna lie. Like that's the conversation that I think is, is unfair too though. Yeah. Because I feel like, yeah, like you said, like if we were together, I might would allow it to happen, but I might not want to, but I'm doing it because again, happy wife, happy life. It's like, I don't even agree with this, but because we married and this is my duty almost. You know what I'm saying? I but feel that's like, still your responsibility because if you don't agree with that, but you're only doing it because it makes your wife happy, you have to be held accountable for that. For you to switch Agreed. up with me when we finish, that's Agreed. not fair. So, right. so, and that's so you what, did it because you liked me, right. but when you don't like me anymore, you know now it's all of a sudden, I don't not, like that. And, I don't and, have to do right. it for you, but that affects and the that's kid. Facts. Because and, at the end of the day, it's really about, bro, just be a good person. Because if it's a good person and you really fuck with me because you're, uh, you're a good person, you're going to do it regardless so, of whether really we're together or whether we're not. It would be whether or not happy wife happy life or not. Whether we're happy kid happy life. So why can't... Happy life, happy life. How about that? Like, you feel me? Why, why can't it be if you love me and you fuck with me that you respect my opinion? Because a lot, like you said, if you think that, you, it's like you said, if we was in a relationship and I said I thought that this was the best decision, you would say okay. But sometimes it's just 
it, it, it releases so much more stress. It's like, okay, why can't it be the other way around? If we're not together and you say, yo, I think this is the best decision. I say, I don't think so. What, what so do we no, do but no, it's, but it's I, a, it has to be a compromise there because yeah. I, do, I feel like that's that could go on so both sides. The, because the courts, I, that's the, why people end up in court and with mediation because now we need somebody something that could take the emotion yeah. out of the situation. Well, yeah. Right, we need to we need to both be able to argue our point as to why this is the best decision. Okay. It can't just be right. you, you make the better right. decision or, or you believe right. this, I believe that. Yeah. Now we need a third party to say nah. on paper, what is the best right. decision? Right. So right. going to that, to my logic. second point I was going to say was the point to your, your mother and your pops, right? I feel like a lot of times, like you said, in the, in the Bible, it does come. My mom's always taught me this from a young. But your she wife was like, first. Yeah, my mom's always taught me this since a young. And she was like, in life, is God, yourself, than me as a mother. She was like, once you get married, then it's God, yourself, then your wife. And I feel like that dynamic changes from like, all right, I'm going to leave them from a man. I feel like I'm going to leave the money to my woman because that's just what we're taught. I feel like even, well, I think we was watching a movie and, and, and we were just talking about how a, a, a man will save his wife. And I can't actually, speak for all Actually, that men. just actually happened. I can't. Um, that happened like uh, last week. Uh, a wife uh, was passing away from COVID. And... Um, with the baby no it was he the doctor told him he had an option to save the baby or save the wife he saved the baby because he said that's what my wife would want me to do right but it was like this big uproar because it was like you know some people like man I don't, this so is not this is rude they was like man you don't even know that kid save your wife but, hey i literally saying? i literally and, when i when i was when i was in my uh emergency c-section i almost passed away and mm. it did come down to that decision for my mother she was the only person in the room with me and they asked her who do you want us to save? I think they always have to ask she, you a C-section too. Yeah, they have to ask that. She chose me because she said that, you know, I didn't. I don't know her yet, but I know you and I have to choose you. And now she said, if I had to make the decision, I would have always chosen your daughter. And, and that's, I say that now, but I just say that because I can't speak for all men, of, mm. of mm -hmm. course, because of that situation, he chose the, the, um, the child. I just feel like we have a, such a, a deep connection with our woman. woman. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, in business, our woman is the, all, a lot of times the one that's, walking us through things uh being there for us emotionally and then on the other dynamic i feel like the woman is more emotionally connected to the child because they carried it they, 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 they carried it, it of they course right. they, yeah you're so, saying they, they i'm sorry home i hate more. to interrupt y'all are gonna hate me but i do have to use the bathroom continue oh my god my ease brand it's the red bull. shout out um, to the brand so i know i keep having this conversation yeah. i feel like um i was wondering i mean i feel like i know how you feel already because i just feel like in a relationship I know it might sound crazy. Lex, I just feel like Lex, I'm a. Lex, I'm so sorry. I, um, Thank you. I think oh, I might. I thought you were putting it back. Thank you. I so think much. I might choose my wife. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because like that's just where my but connection lies. Like, so when I think about it, honestly, I almost think about it. Thank you so much, Pumpkin. So I almost think about it in a way like this. Like, okay, you have your wife. That's your your first line of connection, right? When a wife has their child, that's literally their connection coming out of their body right so it's almost like it's it sounds crazy because you know and it it might sound crazy because it's like yeah you know i'm your closest thing to you but once we have a kid my kid is actually the closest thing to me in internally just as like i'm the closest thing like you know they say you know your wife's your rib when my kid is born that's literally my rib you right. get what i'm saying so the dynamic is a little different because of that connection and i don't think that wives intentionally would want to pick their children over their husband but, but you're, once you're, you're the kid it. is born that is almost my and, duty and it's like i wouldn't protect my cub well, like you've that's been doing it yeah like, i've been doing it like had for not, i had no choice like and that's, that's my body i wouldn't expect i cut it off of my body the uh, the umbilical cord i cut you literally uh, like it's almost like i'm taking a part of me out right. of me you know what i'm saying and that's what I, was gonna so say. I don't think it's but i don't think it's to be offensive in any way like no, oh i'd pick my kid over my husband because fuck that kids first you know niggas is i don't think it's like that i think it's really just I, like they didn't ask to be here you get what i'm saying like they didn't ask to be here it's my duty as the mut like as the person who carried them in this, I have no choice. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, facts. And, like, I and I wouldn't expect. I wouldn't expect. Now, my if, I feel like sorry, not to cut you. Off, I feel like if men had kids, I feel like it would be the same thing. But the fact that you can't have kids, it, it would never be that because now the first is line to you is look to have to have a kid as a man. You have to find your wife, and then your and then you you birth your wife to do what to bring another life into this world. Mm -hmm. So it's almost, that's the order of operation. If you think about it, it's like chain of command. It goes husband, wife, legacy. You get what I'm saying? 
husband, wife legacy. You have to protect your wife to do what? Bring in your legacy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you have to choose me. And then I have to protect your legacy. Right. You know and that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't. And, and it, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, bro. No, because to add on to that, it makes sense. Because I remember there was like this dispute between like a kid. You know, once kids start growing up, they start to get tough. They start to become their own. They like to step out. And I just remember there was a husband and a, wife, a kid that called a wife out of their name, right? And I just remember the man, like the husband, had to check the kid. Yeah. But and he Don't said, "Don't ever disrespect my wife." But he like, said, uh, "They did on Power." But Don't the you word ever was exactly. That's why wife. I said that you watch Power because yeah. what he said, which was profound to me, was yeah. before she was your mother. She that was, was my, my wife. wife. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Me. So you always that have to respect that, that se powerful. seniority. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because like without her you would not be here you wouldn't be here and i I feel like as a man i gave her you you, like don't you ever that's why like even if i'm not with my baby even if i had a baby mama that you always carry that that weight like yo you brought life into this so we always give you that praise because it's like you did something that i I literally could not do on my own you know what i mean that's why i think i wouldn't like for me i wouldn't even expect my woman to choose me over my child you know what i'm saying yeah and like I think that would be a hard decision to make, and I applaud the guy that made that decision because he know that that's what but my wife said, would do. But he said he said it. He did like, it. He literally said he was like, my wife would want me to do right. that, and I think that was solely his only reason. Like I'm not saying he. Yeah, I'm sure that was hard for I'm him. Pretty sure he loved but it. I'm yeah, sure yeah. he wanted to pick his wife because at the end of the day, but he's like my wife. Would kill me if she would survive. If I if okay, I if like I did I told that because your wife be, would like you know she would have to carry that yeah, she would have to carry that losing a child at that point exactly and then. You like, know, I gotta be real watched, with y'all. Even, even, I gotta be real with y'all. I gotta live to find out. We don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. Look, we're here already. You can you're have gonna have to. Kid. You're gonna have to save me. I'm sorry. That's just that's how I feel about it. Right, no, Do you I, feel like you could just um, have no, for another me, child? I just feel like I would. I'm definitely would want to save my wife. Like, and I think that's just a bad thing. Like, yeah, even, yeah, even the I movie. That. Remember we that. watched the movie? I forgot the name of the movie. Um, three days or something like that. And and the guy broke his wife out of prison. And yes, he, yes. he was he was leaving his child right. behind. To but, get she her was out. Like, but she was like, she jumped out the car. She was like, go get my son. Right. It and was it, on a run. Yeah. yeah. So like I, I just saw think, that. Just, what was yeah. it? It was uh it was a good movie too. I know, uh, I saw that a I years ago. I gotta I gotta say I forgot the but name, I think, but it was really good. I, I think that's the um the just the, the dynamic. Yeah, and change. I just think it's just I, like I said, I think it's almost like it's chain of command. Like and, and that's how I put it. It's you, me, legacy. You feel what I'm saying? You have to save me i have to save legacy so if you have the choice i understand you save me but i have the choice i have to protect your legacy you get what i'm saying like and it's but just, that's interesting yeah. that you said yeah. that wording because it's like you said your legacy instead yeah. of our legacy it's no, because, your legacy but, like you see that terms, but i know i'm just terms, it's just yeah. interesting how you, you worded it though yeah. like it's just like, interesting that like, you said that in the kingdom you, you, like yeah i can't have the seed if you didn't give it to me because i carry you your last name so it's like your legacy because that's when i carry your last that's exactly. interesting that you even said it like because if i if say first child if he that's that's it there's no more you know hill from this that's there is no more you get what i'm saying so yeah that was interesting let's just pray that these decisions have to be made. And less. I just want to tell them people, y'all got to stop being so shady on Instagram and Twitter. They really said, man, fuck that kid. We don't know that kid. <laughs> I mean, I did chuckle. It man, prayer, funny, pray, but it was prayer, prayers up to them. <laughs> yeah, saying, that's that's just, like, prayers <laughs> up to them, man. Let's pray that we have to see these decisions <laughs> less frequently because uh-huh. that's a crazy decision to have to make, like your yeah. child or your it well, is, it is it, a well, wild decision. Apparently, the viewers think they call me the baby killer. So because of the abortion thing. So they know that I, they, they're going to say, I'm going to definitely not choose the child. And you literally just said, choose me too. So, so I, I did say that. Mm-hmm. Because I I, you know go, why? Never mind. Not necessarily because I want to be here, but because I know how hard, reason. I know how hard life is. No, I know how hard life is. And I know that everything happens for a reason. And perhaps God wanted my child to protect them from something and i don't know how i would feel about my child being raised without their mother mm-hmm. like i know mm-hmm. how important that is mm-hmm. so god is interfering for a reason you mm-hmm. know and whatever they decide that was god's plan obviously mm-hmm. but i would prefer not to um be the one to have to make that call you know if it's mm-hmm. happening we're here, you know, it's happening for, for a reason. And like I said, but I'm always thinking with the best interest of my child. Now, sometimes that involves sadness for me because that's selfish because I want my child, you know, I want my child here. But at the same time, I have to do 
what is best for my child. I think that's what adoption even looks like. Like if you have to give your child up for the greater good, that shit hurts. But sometimes you have to do that. And in that situation, if I was, you know, getting ready to die, I don't know if I would want my kid to be here without a mother. Like I already have a kid here without the father. And I know what that looks like. I don't know if I would want to be the person to, uh, make that call. You know, I feel like that's up to God. If, if, if we got here, it was because of God, you know? Mm. So whatever is supposed to happen, I feel like just let it happen and we can go from there. Damn. That's a, good way to close that's a great talk. Take on it, man. Um, I like, I definitely like the, it goes like the man, the woman, and legacy take because it's like damn that's crazy i never thought about it like that. right but me neither let's get into some lighter things man let's let's have fun with it uh where, where was that little baby and oh yeah we can start up um look at this little baby and little baby and miss london <laughs> that's his girlfriend she's a porn well, no, no. star Ooh. Ooh. she's a porn star oh yeah i didn't so you mean little baby you talking about his girlfriend jada okay. but the situation okay. of him and Miss London. So allegedly, allegedly. Let me, let me just start off with allegedly. No, well, come on. Allegedly. I mean, come on. I mean, even though he, come but on. allegedly. Come on, y'all not niggas get caught and be like, still lie. Niggas allegedly. Like, deny, deny, deny. That's okay. Not true, but what the that's fuck? What I gotta pocket. lie for it. Allegedly. You're a liar. <laughs> okay. So after denying his relationship with porn star Miss London, Baby returned to Twitter to clear the air. In his lat latest tweets, which have since been deleted, the Atlanta rapper admitted that he messed up when he allegedly cheated on his girlfriend Jada Chavez with a porn star. Okay. What's wrong with that? That's the tweet, the quote right there. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What? He said that's what he, he said. This is, what he, this is what he tweeted. I didn't yeah. even see this. He uh -huh. said, I'm wrong for giving the inch for show. Hey, yo. Yeah, I saw that. But bitches be taking an inch in a stretch that shit for miles. <laughs> in a stretch that shit for miles. Hey, yo. He wrote while denying that he paid 16000 for the one night stand. Then he said, and I'll never give a hoe 16K to fuck. He went on to defend his relationship with Jada. Niggas fuck up for show, but who go harder for their girl than me? Stop playing with me. Somebody said Dirk. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Dirk don't play about India now. He don't play. Now, so it's allegedly. However, he DM'd Shorty and was talking to her through the DMs. Like, why That's you do bad that? Business, so I'm confused Mom. why. The, the, the quote of the week was. So he's saying, but he said, did he fuck up? He's saying, like, nah, but I the quote up. of the week was. That's bad business, That's ma. That's bad business, ma. He told her, like, why you go <laughs> put it out there? So she signed the NDA. She did say, when I wake up, I know, well, yeah. her word, she said, I'm never going to get the dick again. That's what she actually said. But I think what's more important is that fuck the whole NDA. Why are you even in the predicament of the NDA? Like, you're in, I didn't like the fact that the girl Jada tweeted out, um, basically so her, alluding to like not letting people know when you're happy because that's when they try to you know interfere and ruin it but <laughs> we can't interfere and ruin your happiness if, if your nigga did it if you okay and he's clearly admitting he did do it here he's saying i gave her the inch and she no, went he's not mile. saying he did it he said he, he said, probably dm'd so her the inch? Inch. Our inch is probably talking to her that's his dick what i mean even that about? is still cheating if he was talking to her inappropriately. But the so. This could have been a DM. It could have been. That's it. still oh, cheating. Hell. Well, whatever it was. Nah. His, oh, his, his, no. his, his nah. girlfriend didn't know about it. Hell no. That's nah. cheating, right? Okay, this is so speculation. let me ask y'all this. It's his birthday week. Shorty buys him one of 12 Richard Millie's in the world. Same week he cheated on her. Allegedly. I think Allegedly. No, it, no, it was the same week. It was the same week. Allegedly. Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Because she did come back. Well, I don't know. Because she said the time she tweeted it, he wasn't with her. But no, but but it doesn't, doesn't matter it because in her, tweets, way, in her tweets, they were in real time. Yeah. And she said, I just left. Yes, Before I even yes, make it home, I'm going to get in yes, trouble. Exactly. So if you so, knew about this and you signed an NDA, how come before you even make it home to secure the bag, you're in trouble? You would have already yeah. secured it. And now you just got to go to court. But so, you said basically that you were on your way home and you were so drunk that you spoke on it, meaning that you fucked the bag up. She said, I fucked the bag up before I even made it in the house. Now, my thing is, 
So Ain't wait, no question, dick in the though. world should have been that good where you had to go do that to yourself because that's just dumb. So what, that was stupid. What? Like just expose yourself. I just feel like she didn't. She just didn't have to. But like, I mean, clout what? is. Do mm. you think clout is more? No, she did than say money. she was drunk. She said she was drunk. That's just like that's just. But such some people rather have clout decisions. than money. Some people think that clout. Well, clout is, does. It money. is. It does bring money. It's just. So let me ask y'all this though. Allegedly. If you sign an <laughs> Nah, look at Jordan Woods. If you sign an NDA with a guy that's cheating, right? Mm-hmm. Can he really sue you if he's denying it? Because think about it. If I sue you, don't that mean that's true? Well, she alleged also that she had video footage. But think of about it. it. If, if, I, if I got you to sign an NDA, that means it's true. So if I'm denying that I did it, I can't really take you to court because if I take you to court, no. then that shows that I did it. And then or, my girl. Nah, you can't, but see how they handle that? They don't go to court themselves. They have. Other else, other people to do it for them. And That's also, how that works. like, Kelly, like, remember R. Like, Kelly and all those that, settlements? If, if you, if he got, wasn't going. It was his manager doing if it. You got, for got the him. paperwork that got that you got sued. Then clearly it's going to be public so record. It's going to be public record. Right. No, because the way they do it, it's like a John Doe. So that's why when you saw the R. Kelly documentary, all those settlements he made, none of them were in his name because that's part of the non-disclosure. Yeah, you get a John Doe. So, but my question is wow. like, so just to your point, like, so he, I think he's saying it out loud, but I'm sure he, he was DMing her like, yo, you wildin'. Like, I thought if I paid for it, it wasn't supposed to get exposed. That was so, stupid. Yeah, so stupid. we think, he's what's stupid. the, what's the worst part of this? I think the pain. Because it's bad on so I, many different. I think, what's think the knowing worst your part celebrity, you like, you need to know your celebrity. And if what's the worst part of this situation? Uh, is it him DMing her? Of course, him cheating. Uh, her, I think like, it's what's the, the, her, her speaking I, out. What's the worst I feel like alleged the alleged payment. If he pays sixteen thousand, and you got to fuck a porn star, and you got to so bitch. that's I'm not. A, I don't think that's bad. So you know what 16, I think? Sixteen thousand nigga spend a hundred thousand on shoes, my nigga. But I watched this nigga offset spend a hundred thousand no, dollars on no, shoes no, and stadium no, no. goods. Wait, 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 no. But this. To fuck a porn star? Hold Bro. up, hold up. But niggas, is wait, 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 wait. Niggas is fucking. Niggas is fucking. Uh, niggas is paying for pussy regardless because when you get a bitch and even if it's not up front, sixteen k. By the time you're done fucking her, you done spent more than. Let that. me tell you. Wait. Let me tell you what my man just told me. I swear to God, I ain't gonna call him. My <laughs> man said this. He said, "Yo." He literally said, "Yo." <laughs> it was a real life. You're like that shit you did for your girl was special because a lot of girls like a lot of girls want the bag and shit, and they don't understand that a nigga like me, I'm gonna get you that shit and not be with you. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you got a nigga that's gonna go out his way to get you this shit and be with you is special because, mm. like, a lot of niggas that got it, they're gonna do it and don't want, they just wanna fuck you anyway. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this shit is scamming, a lot of this shit is just finessing. It's like, yeah, I'll get you what? A $5,000 bag? I got it. That ain't shit to me. You know what I'm saying? So, girls that, that, that don't come from, well, not don't come from another, that ain't used to a lot, they think they get $16,000 to change their lives when for me, that shit ain't shit. I probably spend that shit in a club. So, if I'm gonna so spend it in a club, over time, I'm gonna spend it again. Over awesome. time, you're gonna accumulate it regardless, yeah. no matter who you're fucking, yeah. unless you're just fucking a straight dummy. Because somebody's gonna want dummies, something, let's, and let's, most people, well, most, I don't there. think the 16k well, so is the I don't biggest know. part. I don't know. I don't know. The only thing is, is because I know that people groupie, because he's a celebrity, you probably could have got the pussy for free. However, I think because he was trying to protect his brand or his image. That's Can where I the money. The that's where the money comes in at because you could fuck me. I'm a groupie, but you have a public relationship, so now you do need to pay because now you got to keep me quiet. So, ladies, it's I know y'all. We y'all talking gonna, about it. Right? Gonna, How quiet were you? We talking me, about it right now. Well, he did. He did business with the wrong person. That's why he said it though. He's like, bro, that's bad business. Y'all gonna kill me. Y'all gonna kill me with this, but I feel like, ladies, I'm gonna ask y'all. Hold on, let me take this. I almost, I almost respect that he. Did pay the the chick the fuck if 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 this happened because it's like why you go like that he no no I'm saying because it's it's no 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 I'm saying I'm saying allegedly allegedly. allegedly. if this happens I kind of I kind of I kind of respect it because it shows that it shows that but it shows that he's clearly trying to protect his relationship I mean of course y'all gonna say if you try to protect his or is it the image of his relationship because let me tell you from what I've heard you know ear to the streets this nigga's cheating on her. All the time. That was always a. That was always a thing. That Everybody was always, that was says that. Rumor. that so was what, like that's yeah, that's on every block. So I can't speak on that. I'm only going to speak on this. <laughs> I'm only going to be honest. I'm saying it's not. They love the hypothetical. No, I'm not. Or they love being selective. Hypothetical. No, I'm not. Because she might have. They love being selective. As soon as it's a nigga, I'm not taking up. I'm not taking up for nobody. I'm not doing hair, no evil, see no evil. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm saying we we know he cheated. Cheating is wrong. Period. We know that. Now that we're here, I'm just saying speaking on that. I feel like. 
he paid. That shows that he don't want no relationships with this chick. Allegedly, he don't want no relationships with this chick. He don't want nothing to do with the chick. He just paid for a good time. That right there shows Ooh. that it's just it ain't it ain't like I'm trying so to let me ask be this. with this chick. Let me ask this. So you it know doesn't how, matter. You're all right, so sticking your so dick in somebody that, that isn't me. Can I, That's part of monogamy. No, no, but we 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 already at cheating. What I'm. Granted, it's wrong, but we we already there. Let me ask y'all this question. This we goes into the, this, sorry, this goes into the question of what's worse. You got some people that that cheat on that girl one time. You know what I'm saying? It's one and done. You got other niggas that's really having full blown relationships with other girls. Affairs are always worse to me because yeah. now you have an emotional part yeah. of you that are you're crazy? giving out. But this is what I have to say about this. You know, personally. Um, I dealt with somebody that she dealt with prior to little baby and she Alex <laughs> what go to hell no because Alex's face just blew me go okay ahead. so what's my third cup everybody <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just put that out there should Shout I even to... finish go my ahead. point go ahead, sis. Go ahead. um and this person was a really good friend of mine I've, I knew him for years and apparently they were dating not to be messy but he is actually a f colleague or friend of Lil Baby's. Wait, what's his so, name? Who is it? I don't want to do that. You so, don't never want to do shit. So here's my issue. Give us something. All right. I'm just going to tell the story of mm -hmm. my encounter. I don't know this girl um, at all, but I'll say that whoever she was dealing with, uh, I had some business out of the country and he happened to be out of the country in the same area Ooh. as as me Ooh. because he was on tour with somebody. So tour. we ended up linking he's up, artist, right? So we know he's an artist. We he's an artist? He's an artist. Okay. We ended up Close linking. Close a little baby? They about to be like. <laughs> we got the meet. Who is Close? <laughs> got, we got, we got <laughs> the Migos. Like, 42 Doug is Close to a little baby. Let me think about QC rappers. 65. Doug, who, who's the. Can I finish or nah? You okay. ain't telling us nothing. I'm getting ready to, I'm trying to make my point, but y'all won't <laughs> let me because y'all so concerned about who. Okay, so long story short, me and this person, we had dealt, we had dealings in the past, but at this point we're literally, it's strictly platonic and nothing happened when we were over here. Uh, I noticed that this girl started watching my stories, things like that. Still didn't say anything because, hey, I don't know. Um, a few weeks later, there was an incident where she started calling my phone back to back to back on FaceTime. I want to say she called me at least 20 times. I honestly didn't know it was her because I thought it was the guy. Then the guy sent me a message saying, like, look, the girl Jada is sitting right here. Like, can you let her know exactly what happened between us when we were overseas? Now, mind you. I'm not fucking this guy anymore. Oh, so, so this is Jada's boyfriend at the time? Yes. Okay, so we just found out who, who her ex-boyfriend... Okay, cool. So here's the issue that I had. Well and every then. Now, I, I don't know how old this girl is, but I'm assuming she's younger than myself. Um, and the guy that, I, that we were, you know, I guess both... That we both knew... He was older than Jane. Jay. Focus on my goddamn no, we story. Are, we, are. we can multitask. He, he was multitask. older. Oh, yeah. Hand in your business, bro. <laughs> he was, yo, he was older. He was older than both of us. So I could see how, you know, she's very young. She may have been manipulated. The issue that I had with her is that she was coming after me and she started watching my stuff. And I always feel like when you're in a relationship, right? That's between you and that person. So once they violate you, you need to get at them. And what I will say about this situation is that prior to necessarily uh, reprimanding him, she first came at the girl, Miss London. And I don't respect that because at the end of the day, you and your man are the only people who owe each other loyalty. Miss London doesn't owe you any loyalty. This is her job. Now, if she fucks up at her job, that's on her. Literally. But it still is not your place to give her consequences. So I didn't like the fact that she tried to shade the Miss London girl because at the end of the day, your nigga is responsible for his loyalty to you, not her. He he didn't have to go do that. You know, it's still on him. So that's why I said I disagreed with her statement about, oh, don't ever let people know you're happy because that's when they try to ruin it. No, how about you keep more solid people around you and there is not a possibility of it being ruined. 
that's what I have to say about that. Now, it's nothing personal because I'm sure she was young and, you know, whatever you want to call it. But as a woman, I'm going to put that entire consequence on my man because the other person is a third party and they don't owe me anything. I'm sending um, this clip to the I, shade room. I, I agree with that 100%. Like, I don't ever, you know, believe in like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go and smack at the girl. However, I do feel like she, the girl was messy and she said Jada's name. Now, if you say my name okay, once, that's bitch, fair. I'll smack the shit out of you. That's don't, fair. Don't say my name. Don't look at, no, don't even look at my shit. Don't, you keep that over here. I'll deal with my nigga. But the minute you cross And it's me, funny that you said that's that. Fair. Now, I got some smoke for you because like, why, I just felt like, I f and I feel that 100%. Like, that's whack. Like, don't do that. However, the girl was like, I mean, Jada, a lucky bitch. I'll smack the fuck it's out of you. It's funny that you said don't that. Because I've me. heard people say what stuff like that. Like, okay, no, I, I see agree. Why Jada, I see why I Jada agree. never leaving. I agree. I was like, no, oh, I agree. Because I've heard people say that. Yeah, now, like, why now, now we got to get busy. Now we got to get busy. Because why you say my name for it? Like, you could have said what you need to say. Oh, that dick was good. Even if you said his name. Even if you said his name. But the minute you say my name, I just thought that was inappropriate. Like, I feel like that was that part. I feel like you were intentionally being messy, drunk or not. Like you came out like, oh, Jada never leaving him. Da, 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 da. I was like, what? Hey, Why would you say that? Pause for a second. I just want to say um, shout yeah, out to Don't be calling my man's 20 times either. Mahi's Brandy. I had to throw that in. <laughs> M -A I was like, you lit? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was around. I already know. Hey, I just want to say Mahi's oh, yeah, you Brandy. M-A apostrophe H-E-E-S. Um, black owned yes, DMV base. Make sure y'all check it every out. Every time, do it uh, every time. Shout out to them because I'm I'm definitely kind of lit. Every time. And as you they speaking, never feel us. I'm just you speaking. I'm just like, damn. I just want to take you in the room right now. You want intermission? Intermission right now. Episode that's, fifty. No, no. Nah, nah, episode that's, fifty. That's <laughs> the bathroom break, so we could take a break. <laughs> you only need. You want to go to the bathroom? You gotta go, like I gotta what? go to the bathroom same time. I, I know we got two bathrooms. <laughs> we only using one. Yeah, yeah Lex, Lex in the city got Lex, it. Uh, shout she out to Lex for mixing it up yeah, for like, us. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, yo, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So, um, we're, we're, is it real <laughs> celibacy now? Or okay. it's it's complete abstinence at this point. Oh, you're abstinence at this point. What, so what are you fucking? abstaining from? No, I'm not. Yeah. Huh? What are you abstaining from? I'm abstaining from the dick completely. Not or the just. dick. She abstaining from the dick. Honestly, <laughs> she probably got a pussy ache. No, I'm at zero. I have no niggas. Right, you probably. I mean, girls eat your pussy. Ugh, I'm, I don't do that, honey. I only. So do, you never I do only, that? I, never experiment. No, I only do men. I've never, ever, ever. I've been molested by a girl at one point, but I've never. Wait, what? Um, like you always got a way to. I'm go sorry, but field. I was like four, but I've never what? been. It's like what I've the never. Fuck? God, damn, I had a rough life. Y'all know this, but I've never been intimate with a female. How did we segue from that? Uh, since that I can't incident, speak that. now we have but, to have therapy. Okay, like, no, we don't need to have therapy. Just talk about Listen, that shit. No, like, the therapy what? is this. <laughs> Listen, this is what the Let therapy me call my is. Daughter, I got Where are the men around this area that? want to have sex and are clean and are getting money and have their own career and don't want to interfere with mine then i can break this fucking abstinence oh so you alex celibacy for sure yeah it's not because i don't want to i don't have I really the option bad. i really feel the bad. option is, does I really not feel exist bad for people even trying to date right now because it's so hard especially because of covid you can't don't even say find people them don't say people yeah. say me <laughs> i'm so sorry jazzy where do i go I i'm not yes. getting on a dating site i'm about to say i'm no. pretty sure it's apps no. it's, they got ah, apps ah, I, i'm not getting on an app because you know why you want to do tinder or hinge Hell no. And I say that because I feel like you get a I feel like, like that. Just if you're on here, right? How come nobody don't want you? <laughs> then I don't want you. Ugh. Nobody don't want you either. What if no, I want no. what if I don't want them? And I'm just looking for something else. <laughs> what if what if I'm in the you're creepy. <laughs> Why you ain't got a distance relationship? Why do you don't got it's nobody like, flying out? No bitch right. coming here. What if I you're broke creepy? up with her before I got here just so I can start new with you? What are you talking about? Like you're creepy. So I will say that's creepy. You know this, this, you're creepy. Was, the thing about dating sites, I've heard horrid stories, but I've heard great stories. I know a friend who got married to a whole lawyer. We were talking about there. that. Yeah, but like Tinder and shit. I just feel like you, you yeah, can. But you I'm can, just you can choose. You can choose any app except Tinder. Tinder and and. 
That's give, I, I don't Tinder know what it is, fucking, but it like, gives you, you, yeah. Tinder is strictly it gives for fucking. See, that's I don't know it. anything about it, but it gives me desperation vibes. No, I no? <laughs> so, I heard my, so my be, honest, about it, be honest. Has anybody ever created a, a profile for a dating app? I never. Yeah, I was on Tinder. I, I created okay. a profile. Okay, Alex said y'all was fucking with Back when I was like for porn, 19 for porn and 18. You're just what? nasty. I never created a, <laughs> a profile for a dating app before a porn app, yeah. So I dated a guy who who, who actually <laughs> had a subscription. I dated a guy. Like, no, listen. This never like, end good. Like, I dated, just never. I, I dated my, my, a guy. He was, he was younger than me, though, at the time. So I didn't. Well, obviously, he's still younger than me. But I didn't look at it that way. But he had a he had a porn subscription. And he would like get on it while we were on FaceTime from his other phone and be like, yeah, I got this monthly subscription and it would kind of throw me off. I don't like that. Anyway, I, well, I, like, I like, I definitely, he was have, paying like, for dip, it. Like fake, like fake subscriptions. He was paying, like, it was a dollar, but I couldn't pay for it. Nah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, he Wait, did. wait, wait, no, 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 wait. Porn, um, at the beginning <laughs> of, uh, like towards the middle of COVID. <laughs> it doesn't even uh, matter. Porn was free. Yeah. Premium no, was free. Pre Prior to COVID. Prior, do you ever pay for porn sites? Never. You ever nah, pay for pussy? Hell no. All the time. <laughs> yeah, we all the time. <laughs> like, but I never, like, I can't. My so shoes, I can't, my I can't, clothes, pays for so this, I can't, the dinner. Sure. I can't, <laughs> it ain't cheap. Now, I can't, like, put my private parts on an uh, app. Like, I can't do that. Like, okay, wait. I got a better my one. My dick is too unique. I got a better People one. People would know it's me. I got a better one. <laughs> would Joe? Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Even better one. It's like, I can't even sorry, finish because y'all wildin'. All right, all right. Okay. Well, have let me let me break down what happened. Have either? Y'all say y'all was taking an intermission, and then <laughs> you just shut fucked up. up the whole I got thing. a great question. We're getting spicy. What happened? Have either of y'all, meaning the dudes, ever no had sex? <laughs> so you're Hell a virgin. No. Yep. So have y'all ever had sex with a stripper or a porn star? No. That's yes. why I already knew you. Oh, a boom, there it is. A stripper or a porn. A porn girl. <laughs> answer. No, you gotta answer. If you don't answer, girl, I'm in love. What are you talking about? If you don't answer, you gotta take two shots. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's on his little baby. He's protecting he's on, you. He's on, you feel me? Now I'm a dummy like Jay. No, you're I'm not. Out, you're not bro. a dummy. Like you're my woman. Well, so you know, just to say, I hey, love niggas, my dummy. Nah, niggas never niggas leave their, their dummies. dummies. Niggas never leave their. They dummies. never leave their dummy. No, nah, you're not a dummy at all. You're my woman. I, I wish sometimes but no nah, you were never a dummy like shit <laughs> sometimes you should like help me out like be a dummy I'm a but i can't get away with shit you ain't gotta look this way you ain't gotta look this way i'm a genius yeah, so that I'm she's inspector gadget I'm a like genius. inspector fucking Sade. like yes i'm a plant i'm a fbi agent. you heard me i'm a plant i'm asexual oh, my man said yo i'm in love you guys blend well <laughs> yeah i'm in love i got my boy here today y'all yeah. I'm in love. Did your um did your your friend still watch the podcast? I meant to ask you that. Like the the friend. Know, which friend? Talk to that friend? The friend I'm that like, you broke one? up with that's on this podcast. She got like twenty friends. Nigga, that's she come on and talk about doing friend every day. First of all, I told you I'm at zero. I have nobody. Okay. I didn't say I said my your friend. friend. My, my I just friend, friend is struggling through COVID right friend. now because she's still meet watching nobody. and supporting the podcast. Boy, you made it sound like I had it. The one that you were gonna bring here. You said why I'm I'm COVID free. I I tested negative. So question. So question. What happened? To the friend, did he ever watch? That's that what I'm saying. I'm saying. Is so, he, oh are you still, wait, no, stop, stop, stop! I didn't even get a chance to say this. So, I think it happened this week. That's why. Um, so, what the friend that we met through sent me some wait, uh, screen, up. some screen recordings of. So his, he met you through somebody that she was dating before her, him. No, no friend, I oh. met him mutual through friend. a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. wow, so He's like really good up. friends with her husband. No, ain't no, ain't no free shit going on there. So. He she screen recorded his stories on Instagram and sent them to me. This bitch ass nigga. I said I was gonna address this too. So he starts Look posting. At your camera. Look. He's <laughs> it's like nah. so oh. <laughs> so he started posting clips of a different podcast. Um, what's the one with Gilly? Dollars worth a game. Right. He started posting clips from uh, they had a female guest on there and she was talking about like women asking for gifts and stuff before they give up the pussy so i guess he saw something we haven't spoken since but i guess he saw something i said and he started posting clips from that like bigging up their podcast which was shady and then also uh trying to allude to the fact that i asked him for gifts before i gave up any pussy 
which was totally false. That's not what happened. So you ain't asking for no gifts at all. She didn't ask so look, for a gift. I didn't, I, 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 I don't for no what you asking for? Money. I'm gonna tell you what. No, I don't ask niggas tell for shit. What, what did you ask them for? I don't ask. And, you ain't asking for air something. in your tire. Hold nothing. Up. No, not for a goddamn thing. And let me let me let it be clear. Not I don't clean ask, your car, wash your car. Nothing. I don't. First of all, walk your dog. first of all, I don't ask. You could be up a billion. I ain't asking you for shit. If you want to give it to me, all right, that's on you. But you're not. I don't care. I'm not asking for shit because I'm responsible for me until we are in a committed relationship. So that being said, he was basically trying to create a false narrative that I asked him for stuff before he got any pussy. This is what happened. It was Black Friday. He what came to me was. and said that he nah. He came to me and said he just bought some Jordans. I forgot. And I said, oh, you ain't get me none. I was joking, obviously. So it was a joke. I mean, like, he could have got me some. <laughs> hey, Alex, but, 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 but it's cool. I wasn't tripping. It was a joke. He took that and ran with it into that. Now, let's be clear, nigga. <laughs> On day two, I paid for your food. I ain't never asked for that back because I ain't tripping off nothing like yeah, that. He owed me we grown. From when we went out, he ain't paid for food too. Hey, hold hey, on, hey, oh, 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 did he pay for that? He hey, pay for that. Oh, hey, Jay hey, hey, hell hey, no. Jay hey, pay for hey, that. Hell no. Where my hell no? Come on, that's that shit. You getting it, my friend? Nah, cause you want my motherfucking money. So you getting it, my friend? Time out. Time the fuck out. Everybody, shut up for a second. I'm shut up. No, no, shut up. Cause I be telling Jazz about this shit too. I'm gonna tell you about this shit. Keep these niggas <laughs> names out your fucking mouth for real. No, I didn't say his name. Nah, I'm talking about though. Sade. Don't say I, I didn't say his name. You ain't had to say, but don't talk about. Hold up. So wait, because I got to change talk the narrative about nobody. to my friends. So you paid for the shit that night? No, I don't oh. know what the fuck y'all talking about. Oh God. You know Why are you pulling your phone up? You know what's crazy? Because I was about to say I <laughs> gave him the benefit of the doubt. In, the benefit of the doubt in the story, I said, well, out of the dates we went on. He paid for the majority of them. I said one time we went to a club. I said he got in for free off of my clout and was in a section off of my clout. However, when the bill came, he did put up what he had to put hey, up. Hey, dog, I'm letting like, you know right now, I don't want no oh, beef. No, you can hit me on the no, side, man. I don't want no beef. Hey, no you know beef. the Addy, no nigga. You know, I'm always, I'm Eddie. copping the deuce all the Eddie. time. I Eddie. cop deuces. So I, see, no okay. I got a question. If y'all I don't want no problems. Look, I will like, you know, y'all for that. Like, but see, that's like, the type of I'm shit trying, I'm talking about. I'm about to Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't want no problems. So if he would have just took his L, right? And we stopped talking, cool. But why are you painting this narrative that I was asking for things before giving up any pussy? No, How did we get here? You didn't get no pussy. How did we get This is real general. life. You don't say but shit. Because the nigga disrespects you. No, I'm in it. No. It's not general. general. Like, but I'm talking to niggas in general. Girls want to jump out there. The niggas like bitch, and then I'm in it. Like shit. Like, I ain't. I'm in it now. First of all, let me just say this. I'm pussy, y'all. I'm letting y'all know. Had you been more of a man, I am. and had you really been more... This is the brandy. This is the brandy. Oh, I'm shit. really pussy. This is the brandy. Come on, get the neck roll. Cause had, you, had you been more of a man, and had you courted me better, maybe, just maybe, you could have gotten some pussy. But pussy, giving you pussy, was the furthest thing from my mind, because... You didn't play your part correctly. Mm. So that's what you need to say. You need to stop trying to shade myself and my podcast and my brand and try to act like uh, the other podcast is this and that. And I'm out here gold digging. Nigga, trust me, you are a downgrade. There's plenty of niggas way more up than you that can vouch for me and tell you that I have never asked for a fucking penny. And that's that on that. And you got my friend's boyfriend paying for you. Nigga, we need that. We need that. We need that. Hmm. And we at the live show next Somehow, week. Somehow. Like, you know, you before you say that. Pop up. Pop I'm trying to exit out of this equation. I keep coming up. My friend's boyfriend. And another fucking thing, say. And I already know what's up with my... With, look, look. I already That's, know what's up with my gang. My okay. niggas... I already know what type of hands they throwing. So if you want to pull up to the live event. Wait, no. <laughs> fuck your she is at tag his Because you know the location. You was there. You know the location. Wow, shit shut down before you even got started, bro. We ain't even going My family's going to be there. Don't pull up. I know what's going I don't need. Up there, like, what the entire I'm I don't saying, you want to go on public, a public platform and try to shade me. So pop up to the live event so we no, can no, make it. No, no. Don't pop up. up. Hey, listen. You know the, you know I'm the talking location. to you. Have a great hey, job. I'm we at the same location I'm we checked out at that venue. dog. <laughs> Just hit me up, dog. We can have a conversation when, about when this. When the gang throws, nah, nah. Hey, hey, cash app, dollar sign, Mister J Hill. 
You pay send you pay that man. Money. Send him his money. Send him his money. I have a co- today. Mm-hmm. Send him his money. <laughs> I want. And send Poppy my cuisine. cousin her money too. Okay. Because you know you knew good cuisine. and damn well that that soul food, that macaroni and cheese. Them, what? What? Did the nigga had the nerve to order smothered pork chops? Like <laughs> motherfucker, you better get some chicken fingers. You ain't paying for this. I, I mean, you want to put me out there? I'm gonna put you out there. But that's it. I ain't got nothing else to say. I, I digress. No, she. It's the. It's the, he had the nerve to order smothered pork chops for me. Because you going to smother them and you ain't paying? You, you, you got the audacity to order smothered pork chops, not even bear, bitch. And then you say that I'm a, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a gold digger? Oh, my God. And you order and smother pork chops, you hoe? Digging gold? You don't have any gold. This said he deserves chicken tenders from McDonald's. A nigga, four, get a four piece. You get a four piece. Hold up, meal. hold up. Y'all really want me to air it out on the no, first date? No, no, Fuck no. Fuck that shit. No, Fuck that shit. No. Nah. Oh, on the first date? No. On the first date? Hey, yo. Nah, listen to this. Now tell me, t- from a man's perspective, tell me if this is just way out of pocket. And this is why we talking prenuptials and shit. Yeah. On the first date, I had to get my daughter something to eat before he took me out. So I was like, can you run me by the McDonald's real quick? Because I'm running behind. Woo woo. We get to McDonald's. All she got was her... It's classic, a milkshake, four piece nugget, and a small fry. When the when the lady at the window asks for the bread, <laughs> she's like, Where's that? Me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nigga, you said run me through nigga. McDonald's real quick so we can get, Yeah, nigga, you gonna pay for it. McDonald's. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I think that's the problem. Already, right that was now. the first problem. That ain't no problem. At that, that moment. That's your problem. Look, and it was at that <gasps> moment. Now, I had the you bread. Paid for the f- and I even asked him, did he want anything? But look, it was at that moment that I knew you were never getting this pussy. Because he ain't pay for your daughter food? Fuck you on the first okay, date. Okay, so honestly, honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. My boss you one year knew I was having a sleepover for my daughter. He was like, "Oh, that's what you know. I order her pizza." That's why most of the relationships they cheat but on. Like, you. No, that's why most not. relationships they cheat on you with somebody at work because of shit like that. No, no, I'm gonna no, pay no. for the the, the door. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for all that. White man. And I'm pretty sure he wants some like, young pussy. What no, you mean? No, no, what you? No, I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna tell I was single at the time, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. No, I'm just saying. No, I get what you. I get what you say. I will fuck your boss up. No, 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 no. Respectfully. Respectfully. He's got his problem. Let's tone it down. No, but what, this is the problem with guys. That's People why I try to eliminate no, it so you, we don't have to go I'm there. I'm going to tell you the problem. I'm going to tell, no, tell you the problem. I'm going to eliminate all that. I'm going to tell you the problem. Nipping in the butt. Right. He's <laughs> like, I don't want to go there. Because I will go there. That's what I'm saying. Because my nigga got hands for No, me. stop telling people that. <laughs> and and we're going to be at the live show next week. And this is a game. Oh, my God. This is a game. We jump bullshit. in. Pretty. Y'all some bullshit. I, hey, dog, I don't want no smoke with you, man. I, I respect you, man. I That's go for we had great conversations. Yeah, look, bro. that's cold for. I'm mm. innocent. So I have a cold. Oh, yeah, I'm innocent. Wait, I am. I'm very what innocent. That's what gift? my dad told me. My dad told me if you ever had right, a enough, nigga, enough, what? enough, dad enough. Dad enough. <laughs> that's what? it. What was the gift like that you asked for? You're speaking too much. I didn't ask for a gift. All I said was a joke when it was Black Friday. Did you get me some? You know, but if he yeah. said I got you some, would you have collected them? Yes. Of course, but I still would have. Hold right. up. Listen, I would have collected him. I would have stuck him on my foot and I'm going to kick him in his ass and hope the change fell out from what I already gave him. <laughs> we playing Sonic again. <laughs> the it's coin's it's coming out. Look, nah, you know what? That's funny. Last night we're Wait. playing a game. No, last night we're playing a game. Sonic. We're playing Jenga. On a Jenga, it's like I pulled the one that says, do a handstand or take a shot. So I, I go do a handstand. The nigga Jay pushes me over. I fall on my back. Change for the <laughs> Look like Sonic the Hedgehog. All the coins came out. Right? Kick a nigga right hey, in his ass. Yeah. Hope the change, the change fall right All out. All the change fell in my pocket. I hit my back so hard that the wind knocked out of me. Because why the fuck would Jay push me forward? I was about to do the fucking handstand. Because you look fucking silly as shit. Nigga, so we're silly playing ass. Get the fuck out of here. And nigga, if she dies, she dies. I got a wow. question. <laughs> All right, hold up. Alex got a it's question. Trolling. Randy. Go ahead. I just want to be known that it's chill. trolling. Did you ask for a Rolex? What? The Rolex that you got, did you get? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Did you ask for a Rolex? Like, like, I don't get? know nothing about no Rolex. <laughs> did you ask for a Rolex? Is he the fan? It's about him down. What's going on? Nah. Nigga said you work for the FBI. Nah, I don't know nothing about no Alex is watches. That. Alex, you know what? You are giving copish. You know what I'm saying? Because now that I think about it, now that I think it's pull your shirt up so we can see y'all on the I never line. ever right. see y'all act like this before. I'm like intermission. <laughs> you act different, different. Pat him down. Find out what's going on. You know why I said the Rolex though, right? 
No, I don't know to see if he that. really watched the show. You said he supported. I'm trying to see if he really watched your episodes. <laughs> hey, <somebody> hey. <laughs> is he in the feds? Nah, Yo, so here's I'll the thing. Fresh it was not nah, honestly. Feds, it was a situation though where I felt like I honestly, if you don't like me and I don't like you and we stop talking to each other, I'm okay with that. What I don't respect is. I feel like the post of the podcast was specific shade. Mm -hmm. You know, I do a podcast. You never mentioned to me anything about the podcast, except for like, if I'm on my way, you ask me questions, but you never asked me, like you never watched it, none of that. So right then and there, like I feel like men have to do a better job of taking responsibility of why shit does not work out. It's not always because the female asks for this or asks for that. Sometimes it's, it's just because you did not meet required expectations mm. and these expectations weren't even something that costs money and you know only thing admit I'm, that and, and about the story too like okay so if you are talking to me and you tell me like oh yeah i bought some jordans like honestly like why are you telling me that just to be honest i'm just trying to figure out are you pressed over your jordans i don't know how old are we like i'm not in high school like you i'm just talking about your jordan scorpio scorpio podcast no i'm just trying to figure out like why are you telling me that yeah i just bought some jordans that ain't like, a question like, you need to know why i'm just trying to figure out why you shouldn't be trying to figure it out and expect, expect to get it my boyfriend will beat you up what? <laughs> live show next week what the pull fuck? up yo, Jim, yo live what the show. fuck live, Jim, show. live show and live we doing show. we doing a, we doing an exhibition after the show that's the shit that gets you on track like get like you know you know the girls with brother you know the girls with brother brother my brother will whoop your motherfucking ass period but my man will, not my brother. My brother. Yeah, period. Hmm. Episode 50 of the Gemini Scorpio podcast was sponsored by <laughs> my Mahi's Mahi's Brandy. Hands. <laughs> this, this is definitely a Look, Mahi's what's sponsored by these hands? And if I swear to God, <laughs> you disrespect me one more time. You're getting an endorsement for free. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually good. That was really that was good. good. I, I ain't gonna lie. lie. <laughs> that was I, that was that was good. I, can't <laughs> even mad. I wasn't expecting Shade. She be thinking she be on her top right again. Good shit. <laughs> Gemini Scorpio podcast episode fifty. Wow, it's a celebration. That's the fucking shit. Whatever y'all doing, keep doing that. Keep doing it. Salute. salute. Cheers. I don't even know what salute means. It, it means mean, bye in it can, it can mean hello too. It can she mean what's up. My, no, it doesn't mean. That's why I don't. First of all, I'm super up. drunk. It means hi. No, it, yeah, it can mean what's up. Yeah, it can salute. Mean, no, salute can mean. No, it's French. No, it's um. No, salute is uh. It's French. Is the, um, I think it's a. It's in Italian too. I think when it you is go to Italian restaurants, they're, they're all shots, they're all romantic languages. No, so no, yeah, yeah. So in French, I went to. Um, but in French is like the uh, Greek. You know how we say what's up? I think it's the is the um is the un unformal yeah. way of saying and it's informal crazy way that of saying words can hi. mean different languages because yeah. i went to F philomena in georgetown and it's an italian restaurant really good and they give you shots like mid like mill and it's like for free and it's like and they give you a bean you have to put the bean down you take the shot philomena let me and hold my go, let me hold back what i was gonna say and you worry about some goddamn jordans but go ahead you feel what i'm saying we're not Yo, no episode more, right? 50 man <laughs> and they cameras say, are off right <laughs> in, endorsements man <laughs> it's a wrap we out man <laughs> See y'all later. Y'all want to say y'all names? Endorsements. Like, we out. Like, nah, endorsements. Endorsements. Miss Greenaway. Live podcast. <laughs> Sunday. Uh, by the time y'all see this. J. Hill. Wow. Alex, Alex Tanner, the, the cop. Take, take us out, bro. Alex the cop. <laughs> right. Alex the feds. Alex the feds. I guess that's my name. But anyways, episode 50, we out. See y'all next week. We live, baby. <laughs> we live, baby.